Hey everybody, it's D with Delay Radio, uh, and Jethro is out again, so we have special guest Mike Haunch. Good morning, all. Good morning, everyone. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me again, D. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Mm, you can also refer to me as <laughs> Kang Dangalang, if you'd like. A.K.A. The source of the pain. <laughs> Seeker of the deep web knowledge. Yes. Filth only. Just disgusting. <laughs> Mike Conch, uh he, uh, kind of like we were saying last episode, he he works his way in the taint of the internets, of the interwebs. Yes, the angry spider, if you will. <laughs> the angry spider. God, I love that. So, Not as much as I do. <laughs> so on this week of Delay Radio, or on this episode of Delay Radio for that matter, um, we're doing an episode a week, it seems. Um, we have some great news topics. I think a couple of involve... Uh, Heads and brains. Yes. Yes. And uh, and then one that I wanted to get to last episode was, uh, you know, how many beads can you uh, clean up from Mardi Gras? Uh, and all are all of them Mardi Gras beads? Maybe some are not Mardi Gras beads. Maybe not. I, I'm sure if you were down at Mardi Gras, you may find some beads there that aren't for your neck. <laughs> yeah. Various sizes. Yeah, yeah. Usually they start small and they get bigger as you go down on the on the street. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's like a pull starter for a party. Oh, pull starter. Yeah, mm, like anything. when you pull start your lawnmower. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Only it's for your butt. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Nice Briggs and Straddling. Yes, I'll call it. Yes, that. instead of Briggs and Stratton, yes. Briggs and Straddling. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Anything over five horses will do. <laughs> oh, God. Again. <laughs> Total shit show today. <laughs> Always. That's that's the best way to do it. <laughs> so without further ado, uh, Haunch, I believe you uh, had a pretty good one about <clears throat> some uh, some Ye- brain action. Yes, yes. Actually, this is uh, this is probably the most awesome story I've read in a long time um, because it involves complete and utter mental fuckery yeah it's it's gone (laughs) it's gone i i don't i don't know how this happens to anyone um so (laughs) i'm trying to read the title without laughing it says woman shot in head didn't know for two months boyfriend wanted by fbi (laughs) and i'm kind of thinking to myself i read that wrong i must have read that wrong there's no way in hell you could shoot me in the head and then i don't i don't find out for two months two months eight weeks right. well that's that speaks to the 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 direction of our nation that's uh <laughs> yeah 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 so I'll, I'll start i'll start reading some of this uh <clears throat> a woman who went to the hospital complaining of a headache had been shot in the head two months earlier and didn't realize it now the fbi asking for public's help locating the suspect her boyfriend go figure who is facing assault charges. He shot her in the head. He's facing assault charges. <laughs> Meanwhile, wow. I fart in my wife's pillow. Same thing. Yes. Assault charges. <laughs> so uh, no yeah. attempted murder on that one. No, no, definitely not. Well, you know, I only shot her with a twenty two. <laughs> yeah. So did she I wonder if she complained of a splitting headache when she <laughs> Boom. <laughs> when she yeah. went in. Oh, a slight migraine. <laughs> <laughs> So this this woman uh, is, or no, I'm sorry, the guy is 38. It says he's being sought on charges of aggravated assault, aggravated battery, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon felon in connection with an attack on his girlfriend, police says. Oh, oh they're calling it an attack now. That's oh, nice. Uh, Atlanta police, well, go figure. I lived in Atlanta for about 10 years, and yeah, this this... This is Sounds like, about right. Yeah, this is just about right. <laughs> just another day. Hmm. Mm. Let me guess. Maybe this happens south of I-20. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it <laughs> says, Atlanta police said Kane, for, Kane's 41-year-old girlfriend went to Atlanta Medical Center complaining of head pain last June. The doctors found a bullet lodged in the back of her skull. <laughs> police determined she was 
she was shot in an altercation with Kane two months earlier outside her home in Atlanta, although the victim didn't remember being shot. How does that happen? How do you not remember being shot? She's ride or die. That's what she is. Mm. That's that's actually, you know what? Um, if ma'am, if you're out there and you're listening to this, if you're looking for a new boo thing, I'm uh, I'm 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 not on the market, but I'll get on the market for that. <laughs> any, any chick who's willing to let me shoot her in the head, that's like uh, just imagine what she'll let me do in the oh. sack. Oh, so it's um, got to be dirty. <laughs> Yeah, Kane, and she won't so, remember it either. Well, this this Kane guy, he uh, he sounds like a actually pretty upstanding citizen. Uh, Kane previously was charged with sexual battery, oh. aggravated child molestation in two thousand and nine. He was convicted and sentenced to probation because the system works. What a shit bag! Yes, yes, he is. He's listed on Georgia's sex offender registry, as which, it should be yeah. for, for assault. Right, <laughs> right for assault. Uh, Kane is described as about five foot ten, two hundred and ten pounds. He is considered armed and dangerous, which makes me think that they didn't actually catch him. Oh, yeah, they didn't catch I, yeah, him. Yeah, because they're definitely warning the public that he could be armed and dangerous. Should you run into this guy? Yeah, no shit. He shot his girlfriend in the head. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. This is ridiculous. This is insane. <laughs> symptoms may uh, symptoms of a run in may include. <laughs> Splitting headache. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. I don't. I don't know. I, I just. I don't understand how you can shoot someone in the head. Well, how do you not it. know? Like women, they're always feeling around in their hair and their stuff. Oh and, yeah. And it's it, at some point you're gonna be like, oh, well, there's a weird hole there. That's that's clearly not a barrette. Right. Be a, right. That that is not. That's not that's for, a hole. That's not for a penis. <laughs> that's on. That's on the other yeah, side. Wait. Actually. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. <laughs> nope, nope. That's on the front, not the back. So yeah, it's interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I really uh, this this is amazing. These these yeah. So they treat her as she she's okay. She's alive. She that's good. Headaches all gone. I would yeah. think. Uh, but yeah, they uh, they took care of it. Um, so but yeah, I uh, this is awesome. Yeah, that. That just never happens. No. Or, or maybe it does. I, uh, it maybe. I don't know. I, I also thought that uh, there were not a lot of incidents of people getting hit with burritos and assaulted with burritos. But it turns <laughs> out that there's an there's a burrito epidemic out there of people just being assaulted with various forms of food. So it turns out it's pretty common. I mean, talk Who about knew? being, you know, completely everything turned on its head. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, the last episode, the lady gets uh, basically poisoned by a piece of cheesecake. Yeah, uh, we have the assault with a burrito. That's right, right. That's um, right. I, if if you haven't if you haven't looked up uh, burrito assaults yet, please please do yourself yes. a favor. Yes, burrito make that, assaults. Make that happen because it is way more common than you think. I just I can't imagine doing a police report where you're just like weapon burrito. <laughs> I mean, how specific do they have to get, like, possible carne asada? Like, possible <laughs> may included uh, included full jacket of uh, slices of guacamole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, hell, it, it could be it could be pretty dangerous, actually. Mm-hmm. You get, like, into Poncheros where they do the one-pound burrito. That's oh. like, yeah, that's like getting hit in the face with a brick. I mean, that's... <laughs> I know at uh, least when I take one to the stomach, it's like getting hit in the, it's like getting hit in the hiney with a brick, so... <laughs> I thought I was bleeding. It turns out it's just... Running Pico de Gallo. <laughs> <laughs> this salsa is amazing. Yeah. It smells like pennies. Yeah, what t- is that? It tastes great in my blood. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, that's that's awesome. Good. Way to go, guys. Society at its best. Yeah. Um, and, and, and it sounds like she went to the right hospital because she went in and obviously they took care of her. But there's places in the world where that doesn't happen. Right. Right. Some and, people, uh, sometimes you check in and maybe you don't check out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And speaking of checking in, um, in Kenya, there seems to be a theme here. I know uh, we talked about Africa a little bit. But uh, so in Kenya, two men go into this hospital one in there for minor ailments. Maybe he has a headache from a gunshot wound. <laughs> I, I don't know. He has a headache. The other guy does not have a headache. The other guy actually has a blood clot uh, that requires surgery. So these two men go in, 
and uh, case of m- mistaken uh, uh, treatment. Um, they had a mix up on the ID tags. One guy goes in for surgery, and well, guess what? The guy that went in for surgery had the minor headache, you know, a little bit of tension. Um, they try to remove a blood clot. gets a couple hours into surgery, and lo and behold, they couldn't find a blood clot. So <laughs> they crack this guy's skull open, oh and all he has God. is a little bit of a, oh, I'm not feeling so great, and uh, <laughs> must have the wrong guy. This, so, is, this is the worst trip to the gynecologist this guy has ever had. Yes. <laughs> so what should have been traumatic and and uh, probably an emergency surgery is they wheeled the wrong guy in. So um, they That's did this. Dis- yeah. And like I said, they, they did discover the clot in the, after they got the right guy back in there um, and they were able to treat him. So I guess both guys are doing well. But I'm telling you what, like I would I would sue. <laughs> You know, my doctor usually just gives me like ibuprofen, and yeah. he's like, "Yeah, you should be good with that." I, yeah. I've never actually had him cut the back of my head off to. Yeah, and it, you know what? I'm curious. Like, don't you usually do brain surgery while the person is awake? Yeah, you'd think that that guy was like, "Hey, uh, doc, I, uh, I don't, I don't think this is right." I usually, usually, uh, you know, maybe, maybe like a, I don't know, a. A gold mask or, you know, do, yeah. you, do you have any of the, like, the beans that you put in the, you know, you put the sock in the microwave and then it, you put it on your face and then it's like you're fixed. Oh, yeah, and it smells like walnut shells. Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes one. they're walnut shells and sometimes they're beans. Right, right. Yeah, yeah I just, I, I couldn't imagine that. Yeah, you, you cut the back off of my head while I'm awake. I got some questions. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe you just give me some Excedrin migraine. <laughs> <laughs> just need to let a bit a little bit of the pressure out oh my god oh my well you know what in theory in theory it makes sense if you're relieving pressure from someone's head the first thing you should do is knock the top of their head off yeah like yeah it, everything just yeah <laughs> should be good get the best treatment be for good. you nice. gosh i hope they didn't do any damage rummaging around there where is now where is that clot <laughs> <laughs> you know what we can't seem to find it uh you you got anything else going on? I mean, we're in here. We can just go ahead and take a take a peek, see around. I mean, what do you say in that moment where you discover that you just cut some man's head open, uh, and it's the wrong dude? Like it just whoa oh, whoa. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Not really sure what else to tell you. Yeah, we went ahead and put the square part of your head that we cut out right. Just we just pushed it right back on there. <laughs> Let well, it heal up. You know, what they could do for me, if somebody cut the back off of my head on accident, you know, say they got the wrong chart, whatever, what they could do for me, at least offer some sort of a penile implant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually, you know, what, what's the one where they transplant parts off of somebody else, where they, you know, a guy dies, and then... I don't know what they, they call they, that. They, yeah, they, but you know what I'm talking about. The guy yeah, dies, yeah, yeah. and then they, they transplant his parts onto your body where you need them. I'm asking someone right away. Did anyone named Raheem die over like the last you know day or so? I want I want to inflict some pain. So, awesome. Oh, speaking of, um, so I don't know why this just made me think of this. Uh, John Wayne Bobbitt. Yes. Did you ever Did you ever see? Because he came out with the movie after all that all that went down. I know the name of that movie. What What is it? Frankencock. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Did you ever see it? No. So weird. It looks like a question mark almost. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'd go for that too. So they basically design every modern sex toy after him. Pretty much. With the exception of adding some sort of rabbit ear thing. That pretty much. Mean. Pretty much. Oh, hey, uh sex toys. Speaking yeah. of sex toys. Oh, uh, yeah. I I don't know I don't know how many of you have the Wish app. I have it. You do? I use I have the Wish app. So do I. Yeah. So do I. And actually I only use the Wish app. Uh basically to buy sex toys like right from china um i i did buy i did buy some american flags from china once. american flag yes. sex toys american well american <laughs> flags from china they always um, salute <laughs> so so let's uh let's kind of take a peek at my wish app that i got going on oh, here no. so it's uh it's it's funny because they i don't i don't know how they come up with this shit on here 
but it's like I have some of the weirdest stuff on my Wish app. And and what's what's bad about it is that the Wish app they they have an ad on everyone's Facebook. Everyone who has the Wish app has an ad oh, on I their get, Facebook. I get that ad. Yeah, so I'll be like I'll be flipping through it at work or I'll be, you know, out in public or something like that, and all of a sudden my Wish app ad pops up and I'm like, Oh shit. You know, because <laughs> you never know what it's gonna be. So so let's uh let's let's take a look. I, I have this thing called a linear rail which is uh, a piece that's used in CNC machines. I have a camera mm. pen, which is a camera pen. It claims to have a laser in it. There's a sweet. There's a there's a weird thing that goes into your light bulb and then you uh you plug stuff into it. I have some picks on there. And the rest is pretty much stuff that goes in your butt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of uh, there's a there's this like animal tail right here. I'm not real sure what that's all oh. about, but um, I, I was just looking at it thinking, oh, how do you affix that to your body? Because it doesn't look like she has anything. It doesn't look like it comes in underwear. Oh, it goes in your butt. Oh, oh okay. Who knew? Okay. Um, a little self-storage. Yeah, yeah. There's there's this other thing right here. I'm not real sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure it goes in your butt. Oh. Um. Let's see. And those these are the ads that you get, right? Yes, yes. These are the ads that I get. So I'll be looking at Facebook. Or, you know, my wife or my mom or my daughter or something, you know, checking out over my shoulder, Facebook, and all yep. of a sudden they're there, like... There it is. Yeah, it's like, you know, oh, Thor movie, you know, all this other stuff. Hey, my buddies are going to car shows, and then there's stuff that I put in my butt. Yeah. So... <laughs> here's a here's a double cider. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's in case you and somebody else need something in your butt at the Do same time. Do you need a King Kong dong? <laughs> But it's made out of the same material that they use to make Kong toys for dogs. <laughs> right, right, right. I'd... Chew on it all you want. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, you know, the, the well, the worst part about it is trying to explain to your daughter what this thing called the Black Mamba is. <laughs> and, and why does it look like that? Yeah. Well, it's because it's supposed to destroy things, honey. Yeah. It's just supposed to wreck things. And it's probably a, a constrictor. Right. <laughs> 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 they they got this one thing and uh, D I was showing you this during the uh, during like right before we started here during the little oh, break yeah, and yeah. it it looks kind of like a road cone actually which is weird only it's got ridges on yes. it what what did you refer to it I, as I I called it a, a, if a tiki uh, one of those tiki towers was composed of Darth Vader helmets yes. That is exactly what it looks like. And I like. refer to it as the Darth Invader. Right, the Darth Invader. That's right. That's right. And actually, this kind of touches uh, the kind of... So I, I was I looked at that one specifically because I might not mind having that in my butt. Mm. Um, but uh, So I, I looked at that one specifically because it looks ridiculously large in the picture. <laughs> and what do we come up with? It's like five and a half inches long or something oh. like that. So it's actually really tiny. Yeah. Um, which yeah. takes me back to... All these toys are made in China. Oh, yes. Remember our last show when we're yes. talking about uh, the Chinese condoms the Chinese and how condoms, small they are. They right. don't fit African people. That's right. And uh, I, th- I think there's something to it. I think there's something to it. So Cause and effect. Right, right. But uh, So, yeah. So if, if, you need, uh, if you need anything like fake money or an Arduino thing, a backpack, LED lights, or a giant cucumber-shaped asp like destroyer <laughs> what an array you know and you know it's funny um because i have the wish app and i see those ads too 99.9 mm-hmm. percent of the stuff that i see that i get for ads is all inflatable <laughs> and, and and so i'll get these like inflatable dolls so you'll love this inflatable doll this inflatable mattress uh these inflatable pool toys or maybe you would like this retractable rod and reel for fishing <laughs> like all of this stuff it's like i'm gonna cast and reel these things in we'll be able to have enough flotation devices right. to stay out on the water <laughs> right definitely definitely sure. I, I see I see a lot of that and I see a lot of like women's panties and I I get it. I have some weird fetishes, but I don't know I don't know that Wish knew that. Oh, of who knew? Not. Yeah, who Apparently knew? Apparently they think that they know more than we do about what is happening. That's probably because this, they do in this world. They do. They they know they know the speed of my clicks. Uh, so I actually want to get into um we didn't get to play it at last episode, but uh we kind of um I enjoy doing this "Would You Rather" thing, and it's this book, and don't buy it, but it's called Zabundo, and uh, we like to play this with people. But I wanted to touch on something real quick. Um, you're talking about putting things in your butts. Maybe you put um, these beads 
in your butt. I don't know. Um, depends on the size of the bead, I guess. But did you know that um, obviously you, after Mardi Gras, somebody has to clean up. Right. And so the city of New Orleans decided to clean the storm drains from Mardi Gras. And you would not believe how much of this crap that they pulled out of there. They pulled out 46 tons of Mardi Gras beads. Oh, my God. Imagine the boobs you could see if you had 46 tons of Mardi Gras beads. All of them. All of the boobs. You have. You would have so many that the uh, the one character from Total Recall would just manifest in front of us. <laughs> like, you have summoned the third nipple. <laughs> it is. Three teats McGee. Yeah. 46 oh tons. Oh, and, my God. 46 tons of beads? Yes. Oh, yes. my God. That's amazing. That's amazing. Have you have you seen videos from Mardi Gras? Because I've never oh, actually I have. been. I have, I've seen videos. I've never been. You've never been? Yes. Yeah, I always wanted. Been, so. I, I do. I would like to go. Yeah. Um, but probably, I don't know. I imagine that the streets just smell like crawfish and vomit. Probably. Yeah, and maybe some boudin. Yeah, so I mean, it's sausage. It's it's a lot like Houston, actually. It's weird. <laughs> 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 oh, so gross! God. I, I in uh, this is all from a five block stretch of down of downtown, like where the main parade route. Forty six tons in five blocks. Forty six tons. That's ninety three thousand pounds of beads. That's a lot of titties. And oh, and seven two seven point two million pounds of trash. From the catch basins, oh uh, my god, that is just that's hard to fathom. That's a that's a lot of hypodermic needles. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, that almost sounds like a would you rather. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> would you rather stick your hand into forty six tons of booby beads or uh, pick up hypodermic needles with your anus? Oh man, I don't know. It's a close call, actually. I'm not real sure. Not real sure. Just depends on how far I could get down before I have to clinch. Yeah. Like, like yeah. you want to feel it. It's like, oh, is it going to get sharp? Or <laughs> <laughs> hope maybe these are like the little uh, cough syrup ones that they give you from uh, when you're trying to give somebody <laughs> some bimen, not bimen, and what is that? Some tussin. Some mo tussin, mo tussin. <laughs> Okay, okay. So let's let's try this would you rather deal. Yeah. Um let's see. Ooh. How about we do would you rather have a mother who is well who is a well known prostitute or a mother <laughs> only you know is a murderess? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I I don't know. I you know I think for I, me, I would want to be the only one that knew. Yeah. So if my mother was a murderess, I think I would definitely want that over a um, a prosperous career as a prostitute. Uh, as a prostitute. Yeah. 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 Well, I just don't want to think about my mom getting smashed on by anyone. Uh, not my dad. Not my neighbor. Not anybody. So. And probably to the point where she has like a little booklet. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like. Here's who I can count on. Oh, if I need some extra yeah. money. <laughs> need, need, a, need to make a couple of bucks. Yeah, call Bonnie. Yeah. She's looking for. Oh, yuck, yuck. <laughs> looking for some sponsorships from Badger. So you got you got any of them sponsorships? God. Somebody help me out. All right, so let's let's try another one. Uh, would you rather? Be caught walking nude on a beach by a policeman or have your horn get stuck while you're behind a car <laughs> in the car behind a group of hell's angels. Oh man, I would rather get caught nude by the police because yeah. the hell's angels will murder your ass. Yeah, cuz you don't die when yeah. you're naked in front of police. The hell's angels are the baddest asses probably out there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not yeah. doing the Hell's Angels thing. That ain't gonna happen. You don't screw with those guys. That ain't gonna happen. Now, if I was a woman, yeah, and I was honking behind the Hell's Angels, they might not kill you. They might just rape you. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. No, no. Good no, people. Thank good, you. God's people. Those Hell's Angels. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, I can just imagine. You, you ever, like, pinch a grape and then just watch it split down the middle? Yeah. I imagine that's what they would do with my head if they ever caught me in that situation. Yeah, yeah more than likely. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, then we go back to the getting shot in the back of the yeah. head. The only difference yeah. was I'm still flabbergasted at how she didn't know. I was still mind, completely mind-fucked over that. Yes. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the, that's definitely probably shoot you in the front of the head for this one. Oh yeah, you definitely know that. You look in the mirror, you're like, "Oh yeah, there's a there's a bullet hole there." You should probably get that looked at. Is that a mole, <laughs> Doc? Doc, this one has grown. Oh, you're gonna God. check it out. Which, if you have a funny looking mole, get that thing checked out. Like, if your mole looks like the state of Arkansas, or <laughs> it, but then starts to look like Florida, you go get that checked out. Is is that Hawaii or is that a chunk of shit on your ass? <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Let's let me put some spit on this napkin and see what happens. <laughs> wipe it off. Try to wipe her off. All right. Here, here's a here's a good one. Here's a good one for us. Would you rather have your life depended on it, have to go hula hooping for five minutes without stopping, or have a pogo stick for a hundred yards without stopping or falling? Oh, I don't know. You know, I'd rather do the hula hoop, and I'll and I'll and I'll explain why. Because I have enough belly fat that once it gets going, <laughs> I can just stop <laughs> driving the motion, and it'll just kind of keep going. Right. You know, it's right. like one of those like little perpetual motion machines that you can have on your desk at work. Wow. Just kind of keep going. It's like a. It's like a. I don't know. It's like a water bed. I just. Yeah, once you get that hoop going, there, there's no stopping. You have to grab it. And I'm I'm not 100% sure which one I'd rather have because, like, uh, so I can't hula hoop. I wish I could. I've tried yeah. a million times. My daughter asked me, you know, oh, daddy, try this, and I'll try it. And it doesn't, it doesn't work because I don't move like that. I can't. It doesn't hoop. Right. right. Doesn't I can hula. hula. It just doesn't hoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so that that's, that's probably a no-go for me. However, the pogo stick. See, I have I have what I like to call moobs. Moobs. Oh, man boobs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man yeah. boobs. So every time I would jump on this pogo stick, I might get slapped in the mouth with a man titty. And <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm all about that. I don't know if I'm about that life. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say, but, uh, I, I, if, if I could hula hoop, I would yeah. definitely hula hoop. Yeah. I would definitely hula hoop, but too. I promise you I can't. Yeah. So yeah, the, the man tit to the mouth, that's, that's probably going to be the one. Yeah. 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 All right. I think we can, I think we have time for one more. Okay. Okay. Oh, here, here's a good one. Would you rather eat 16 ounces of coffee skin the film, Ooh. yeah, the film on the top of the cup after it's been left out for two days, or oh. two gallons of beer foam. <laughs> oh, either either way, either way, I'm spray I'm spraying poop you, all over the back of your toilet. You know what? I'd rather eat the beer foam because it didn't say anything about it not being fresh. Right, right. Coffee skin. Yeah. However, no. Yeah, that's like happen. a workplace petri dish. Right. <laughs> You're growing all kinds of stuff in that. I've I've left a coffee a clean coffee cup out at work, and wanted to just like throw it right in the trash when I got back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, no, yeah, thank you. Yeah, the coffee skin thing. Just the name coffee skin is uh, it's sixteen ounces. Yeah, that's uh, a pound, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, sixteen ounces. Yeah, that's a lot of coffee skin. Yeah, I'd I'll, rather I'll, drink the. I'll do two gallons of beer foam. That's only like yeah. three ounces. Do I have to do it in one sitting? I, you know what? Doesn't matter. Let's do it. Beer foam. It just sounds like a like a snack that you could you could have. Absolutely. I don't know. Like uh, like well, I'm trying not to drink as much. I just I'll just have some of this here foam. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? We we had talked we, a little bit earlier. We had said something to each other um, about the possibility of the drunk episodes yes. of this show. What what do you you think you think? You're really down for that? We should do it. I it, mean, because I, I get shit my pants drunk. <laughs> it, I haven't quite gotten that far, but I've gotten that rug looks like a graham cracker in front of the toilet <laughs> drunk. <laughs> That's right. I've heard that story. Yeah. I like that story. Yeah, I've definitely nice. been that drunk. Nice, nice. Let my... me puke in the shoe. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that in some girl's shoe. I just puked yeah. in it. 
these marshmallows are delicious, <laughs> and then you wake up with no pillow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm thinking I'm thinking that's definitely a doer. Um, when uh, when Jethro comes back, maybe we'll... Uh, Maybe we'll throw down. Got to get the Jethro. Yeah. yeah. Got to get him in here. Yeah. I'll, All right. I'll you know what? Heroin. Screw it. Let's do one more. Okay. Okay. Let's one do more. One more. Uh, and at random. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. Would, I know it's going to be good. Would you rather have a butt full of worms <laughs> or a mouth full of ticks? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> A butt full of worms. Oh, my God. Well, I oh. I had a dog once that had a butt full of worms. It didn't look too comfortable. Oh. I mean, she kept dragging them all over my house. So. <laughs> oh. oh, God, that's a butt disgusting. Full, butt full of worms. A uh, mouth full of ticks. Uh, God. Oh, dude. I... I'd probably rather have a mouth full of dicks than a mouth full of ticks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I would eat an entire yeah. bag of dicks. Worms don't give you Lyme disease. No, no. But I mean, uh, and what yeah. kind of worms, you know? Like are we, are we talking like night crawlers? Oh, <laughs> or are yuck. we talking like little meal worms, little little glow worms? Yuck. Oh, that is just that is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. I I I would go with the worms, right? Yeah. I, because at least I can eat. Yeah. Yeah, I you're can't right. I eat with a mouthful you're of ticks. Right. If, if you keep pushing food down on top of them, eventually they will push their way out. Yeah. And it, it's an opportunity for self-denial. I'll be like, well, I'm not going to get fat. And the worms will eat all it. Yeah. And I, you know, honestly, it's not the worst thing I've ever had in my butt. So, no, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there, there's a there's a thing down here at the bottom. It says, it's like a like a fact. It fun says, facts. Yeah. Fun facts about butts full of worms. <laughs> The roundworm Ascaris can live inside the human intestines and grow to 16 inches long. The female can lay as many as 200,000 eggs inside a human every day. Oh, that is that is nasty. Yep, yep you kill me now. 200,000 eggs? A day. Jeez, oh, Pete. Oh, Christ. I don't yeah. even know what to say to that. No, I, I feel like I need to go wipe I just need to go take a really, really, really cold shower yeah. right now and just clench my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> go take a shower. Yeah. And, uh, I need to go get a complex of some sort. Ew. Just uh, obsession with just cleaning up my colon. Yeah. No, I... <laughs> You know, a, a butt full of worms sounds awful, but a mouthful of ticks would make me want to wash my mouth oh, out with a forty-five. That's guaranteed not, no. Lyme disease. Yeah, oh, for sure. Oh, and you got to pull for the sure. ticks off. Oh God. Oh. Oh. No, no. Thank you. No way. No way. God. Yeah. No. I. I don't know that I could do it. No, I, I definitely know. couldn't do it either. I don't know. So. And so now we get to the end of the road. Um, wow, I still can't get over the worm thing. Yeah, that's, that's How gross. disgusting. How awesome is it that that's what we get to leave you guys with yeah, on this episode? Butt We're, full of worms. I'm not even going to close this out. We're just going to say it, butt full of worms. Yeah. And... Uh, Actually, we're gonna let the the haunch say that, and then that's it. That that this is what you get to hear the rest of your drive home or over whatever wherever you're going. This is the last thing you're gonna hear. Two hundred thousand eggs a day, but full of worms. <laughs> <laughs>